Barks von Himmelhoch. Good evening and welcome to evening prayer for Tuesday, the second Tuesday in Advent. And we use our good friend Tom Schumann's uh, offering of evening prayer for Advent that he's kindly written for us. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Because of you, righteous God, we journey to Bethlehem, trusting that you will lead us down the paths of faithfulness. For you, child Jesus, we wait on this day of anticipation and hope in the days of doubt and worry. With you, spirit of Advent, we serve for those for whom this season is not one of joy those whose lives are empty of family and friends. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Tonight's psalm is Psalm 85. Lord, you were favourable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people. You pardoned all their sins. You withdrew all your wrath, you turned from your hot anger. Restore us again, O God of our salvation, and put away your indignation towards us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again so that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet, Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Tonight's Old Testament reading is from Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 to 10. A shoot will come up from the stock of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he will judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall lie down with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together. And a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall die, lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. The nations shall inquire of him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Tonight's hymn from the Iona community is the Advent, the Carol of the Advent by John Bell. This particular arrangement is by Richard Hubbard and is performed by the singers and musicians from Cantus Firmus in Suffolk and sung in St Edmundsbury Cathedral. And our New Testament reading is, uh, and, sorry, our Old Testament song follows. They shall follow my ordinances and be careful to observe my statutes. They shall live in the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, in which your ancestors lived. They and their children and their children's children shall live there forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will bless them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling place shall be with them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Our New Testament reading from Luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 3. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus 
that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Tom Schumann, who has generously crafted our nightly liturgies for Advent, has also, with the Iona community's support, gifted to us a nightly reading from his book, The Jesse Tree. And tonight, Tom's reflection on Isaiah chapter 11 is entitled, Let the Children Lead Us. Advent's prophet, Isaiah, offers us a vision of a time when enemies will sit down and talk with one another, when predators will take naps with their former prey, when carnivores will become vegetarians. And we read such words and nod our heads as we smile and say to ourselves, not a chance, Isaiah. We watch reality TV and we know this is not the way the world operates. Is it only a fantasy, a utopian dream, a pie-in-the-sky wish that will never be fulfilled? Seems like it, doesn't it? After all, our cat and dog can't even be along with one another, so how can we expect the cow and the bear and the lion and the calf to become willing playmates? And we humans, well... We all know how hard it is to let go of the hurt that someone has done to us. To be willing to lay down the, crudge, the grudge we have against that sibling from so many years ago. We all know how long we can hold on to the words our spouse howled at, hurled at us in anger and how a perceived slight or an unfulfilled expectation can fester in a congregation. Maybe we need to take Isaiah's words to heart and let a child lead us. Certainly the Christ child, but it could be any child. Watch kids at play. Things are going smoothly and suddenly something happens. Anger erupts. Words fly about like leaves in an autumn afternoon. Best friends tell one another they never want to see them each other again as long as they live, as they stomp off home. And then a day, an hour, even a few minutes later, they are racing one another down to the playground to laugh and care for one another for the rest of their lives. The words have drifted away, the anger has melted into friendship, the grudges have been left behind as they grab hands and swing in circles. Every day we see God's kingdom and Isaiah's vision of it enacted before our eyes. If we only notice and listen and let the children lead us. And the prayer that Tom offers to follow this reading. The box would be pretty big and awfully heavy understanding God, but perhaps this year I will package up all my hurt, all my anger, all my grudges and give them to you, that I might have enough room to receive your child into my heart. In Advent hope, I pray. Amen. And our New Testament song, a song of faith drawn from Romans chapter 12. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honour. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. 
Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all, if it is possible. So far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Let us pray. An evening prayer written for this congregation by Tom Schumann. See, you come, clarifier of our hearts, playing salvation's love song on a baritone sax, preparing the way for grace to transform our souls, holding us in your heart when we lose our way. See, you come, tender mercy, filling in poverty's potholes with grace's riches, tearing down cruelty-capped oppression, straightening out the winding paths we make the needy walk, soothing the lonely nights of rough sleepers. See, you come, eyes of grace, so in seeing the suffering around us we might share mercy. In observing the struggles of others we might give offerings of justice. In noticing the silence of leaders we would cry out for hope. See, you come, God in community, holy in one, so we might be your people of grace and justice. Amen. Let us pray. Within the cycle of prayer for our Synod, tonight we pray for the ministers, elders and members of our churches in Leicestershire, praying for those parts of the county in which conversations are still ongoing about where future ministry will come from and with whom as partner churches that ministry will be shared. We pray for interim moderators, for church secretaries, for those bearing additional burdens of responsibility whilst the deployment conversations proceed. And we pray for our ecumenical partners in the county and tonight pray in particular for Bishop Martin Snow and the Anglican Diocese of Leicester. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all facing the challenge of COVID-19 and the continued fight against the virus, the work to defend us from Omicron, the vaccinations, the key workers, the NHS, care home and hospice staff, teachers, college and university staff, those ensuring our safety. We pray for any whose lives are blighted by the reality that is COVID or long COVID and those who've lost loved ones to it. We pray for exhausted, tired out folk, both as a result of living with the virus and as a result of seeking to care for those with it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray in the spirit of Tom's reflection for a humility to see the child among us, the Christ child and any and all children whose living and loving inspires us to be more humble, to be more faithful, to be more godly. And let us pray for children, those at risk, those who have been abused, those who do not know the love of trusted adults. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who've asked us to pray for them. We continue to pray with Liz for her great nephew, Ryan, and her daughter, Emma. 
We pray with Prince for Cheryl, asking God's blessing upon them. We pray with Andy for Mick, his dad, and for Liz and Ruth in their ongoing care of him. We pray with Judith for Catherine, her niece. We pray for Onkatea in her staggered return to work. And within the prayers posted in the thread tonight, we pray with Hatra for her friend Amin. And as the comments remind us, we pray for tomorrow's surgery for Emma, for the family and for those who care for her. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who grieve, for the loved ones of the Reverend Eric Allen and especially for Joan, the loved ones of the Reverend Vernon Broomfield Payne, especially for Kate, and the loved ones of David Scott, especially for Sue, one of our pastoral consultants for Northamptonshire. May all who grieve know with Isaiah's confidence of old that the people who walk in darkness will see a great light. Lord, in your mercy, hear these our prayers and make us where we can to be part of your answer to others' prayers. For this we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us with his grace and fill us with his peace. Amen. Tonight's closing voluntary is played by our good friend Art van der Granden on the organ of the Dorpkerk in Nieuwenholm, Herbertslaus, the church twinned with my home congregation in Suffolk. It is one of his selection of Dutch carols Op humain heiland bleef ik. We listen.
Good night.